guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna do another what I eat in a day for you guys. So I've gotten into the habit of just starting to film like whenever I'm cooking food and what I'm making for that day. So I've really gotten into making like big batches of stuff for dinner so that I have like something to make into different dishes for the rest of the week, which you'll see in this video. I make this like lentil dish with like the salad and I have made that lentil dish or the use the lentils in so many different dishes this week. Like since I filmed this video, I've basically eaten the same foods every day, except for I've just switched it up a little bit. So like you'll see in the video that I make these like lentils with the salad and rice and stuff. But for lunches, I've been using the lentils with potatoes and broccoli and corn. And then another time I had it with um, like sweet potato and it's just like very versatile. So I've been trying to get into the habit of filming myself a lot more and like what I'm eating during the day because I've just been for the last like six months or so I've been into these like really simple meals and that's why I haven't made like a lot of these videos because I just feel like it's kind of boring but I also feel like it's kind of I mean it's the way that I preach people to eat like especially in my meal plan membership I'm like you know I don't want to make it more complicated you don't want to you just don't want to be eating like a different meal for every breakfast lunch and dinner and that's like the biggest thing that people like about my membership is that it's really simple so I'm gonna start showing more of this stuff because I feel like my whole channel is like a bunch of different recipes and to be honest like I eat the same stuff all the time especially during the week it's just on the weekends when I will you know like create new meals and have more fun with it when I have more time but like, during the week it's like I'm so busy just like all of you I'm sure are just so busy with like work and your family and like your friends and your social life and just like everything so yeah, I've been keeping it really, really simple. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I eat in a day. I filmed this a few days ago and I've eaten literally the same exact thing every single day since I filmed this video. So it was like four or five days ago. So let's jump into it. So for breakfast, I'm gonna make a green smoothie and I'll show you guys what I put in it. This is something that I have when I'm not like extremely hungry, but I just kind of want something to have in the morning. So I'm gonna take two of these stalks of celery and I'm just going to wash these really quick. I have this box of organic super greens blend. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna add about this much of that in there. I also have a hunk of ginger. I have a little apple. I'm gonna add in about this much cucumber. The juice of half of this lemon. And then I have some mango chunks. So I just chop up everything enough so that it will blend. Doesn't have to be like super chopped up or anything. And then I'm just gonna add all of this into my blender. And I made a video on this on my Instagram page as well. But I really like this smoothie because it's just super filled with veggies and it's really filling. Actually, it has a ton of fiber in it, if you can imagine. And it's sweet and it just, I also add um, some soy milk to make it like nice and creamy. So I'm gonna put some of this in there. So it's just like a really good green smoothie that I love having. I'm just adding a dropper full of this stevia. It's just the vanilla cream one. To make it a little bit sweeter and then i'm just going to add a little bit of ice and a little bit of water to this probably like up to here and then i'm just going to blend this up I also like to add pineapple to this instead of the mango. It's really, really good. This is a smoothie I pretty much have been having every single day. So for lunch, I have these two pre-steamed potatoes. I'm gonna chop up some bell pepper. I have an onion here, a half of a large zucchini, and then some mushrooms. And I'm just gonna put that in a pan and heat it up with some of my favorite spices. So first I'm gonna add my onion and mushroom into here. And then I'm just gonna add a splash of water. 
to help it cook a little bit. And my zucchini. It's like a little bit of bell pepper, so I'm just doing like a quarter of a bell pepper. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in my cooked or pre-cooked potatoes. And then for spices, I'm gonna do some chili powder. I'm gonna do some smoked paprika. Some garlic powder. And then a little bit of cayenne pepper. So I'm just gonna mix this up and then cover it and let it cook all of the water out of the veggies until everything is nice and soft. So I have this on medium heat and I feel like that's what I usually do. All right, so this is pretty done to me. So I'm just gonna put this in a bowl. So I'm just gonna add some greens into this bowl and chop them up really finely. It's just this super greens blend that I get from Safeway. I'm gonna put my hot potato scramble over top. And this will like help wilt the greens so that they're just more tender. Sometimes I put it in when it's cooking, but I kind of forgot this time because I'm doing a bunch of stuff at once. And then I'm just gonna top this with some ketchup. That is it, my super easy lunch. So excited to eat this. I might add a little bit of nutritional yeast to this too, but this is like one of my favorite meals. It's so filling. It is super low in calorie density. Obviously like this is a very heavy plate. So this is probably like at least over a pound of food and this will keep me full for quite a while. So I'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of this video because I had some music playing in the background and every time uh, that happens my videos get demonetized. So here I just added a cup of dried um, Lentils that I rinsed into a pan with three cups of water and one of these not chicken bouillon cubes I put some of this umami powder in there because it makes everything taste better and then I added some turmeric and garlic powder and just brought that up to a low boil and Covered it let it cook until basically the lentils soaked up all the water. This is like one of my favorite really delicious spice mixes to use it's just so it has so much depth and it's so delicious i'll just put that into a meal prep container and set it aside for dinners for the week or lunches i like to mix the lentils with potatoes and broccoli as well it's really good for lunch um, and then here i'm just chopping up a bunch of greens with my scissors i like to chop them up like this because i like everything to be like in little bite-sized pieces it makes your salad way easier to eat and then I just add whatever veggies I have on hand. So I had some cucumber, chopped up tomatoes, and some red onion. And I'll just use whatever I like have that's about to go bad that I need to use. I'm gonna add the juice of half a lemon, which you could use lime juice. And then I have this really sad looking half avocado. So I just put that on top as well. And I just add some seasonings into here. So I put this Trader Joe's lemon pepper, seasoning and then some garlic powder as well mix that up really well and i just put this into another little container and i will have this with my lunches or dinners for like my veggie side so it's just a really delicious little salad to make i even make it without the avocado and it's just like really good with these different flavors on it like the lemon and garlic and the black pepper seasoning it's so good so for dinner, I basically just have that all prepped. I made some rice. I had some sweet potatoes cooked in my fridge. So I put my salad on half my bowl. I added my rice, my prepared lentils, then the sweet potatoes. And this is just some fat-free hummus that I made. And I just topped it with that because I have to use it up. And that's my really simple dinner. And this, the amount that I made will make like five or six meals. And then for snacks lately, I've really been loving fruit since it's been summertime now. 
I just chopped up a banana and then I had this strawberry mango mix from some fruit that I had for the previous week. I just chopped it up and put it together. These were just some defrosted blueberries from Frozen that I had in my fridge. So I just mixed all that up and that's my little dessert slash snack for the day. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got inspired to just keep your meals really, really simple, especially during the week. Save yourself the time, find you know three meals that you really enjoy, and just switch them up a little bit. It is like such a game changer. If you want more help with this, I teach people how to do this in my meal plan membership. One of the biggest questions that I get have gotten recently at least is can you cancel anytime yes you can cancel it anytime there is no commitment it's only 29.99 to sign up so i highly recommend joining if you just need some help you can join for a month you can get a lot of help in the community there's a private community we do challenges every month we're doing a steps challenge this month that we're giving away a fitbit like there's giveaways every month i do a live stream every month so if you join now i have a live stream that i'm doing this sunday where we're cooking one of the meals from the main meal plan and there's just so much stuff in there. There's a yoga class every month. There's like lots of other information and it's just really a game changer. Like I've had so many people message me just like how much they appreciate it, how simple it is, how cheap it is, how you know easy it is for them to eat this way because the biggest thing that I realize with a lot of people that I work with or start working with is they, just think weight loss like so much harder than it needs to be it does not need to be that difficult it is really simple when you get down to like the brass tacks the things that actually matter and the things that you really need to focus on and do to get to where you want to go so just wanted to cover that really quickly yes you can cancel anytime there's no commitment you don't even need to contact us you could literally just go into your profile and you hit cancel and like that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you make any meals from it, tag me on Instagram. You guys can always follow me on there. I make a lot more what I eat in a day, little reels on there because they're easier for me to make. And I also show a lot of what I'm eating throughout the week in my stories. So if you need any more inspiration on like easy meals to make or just meals in general, follow me on there. I'm pretty active on there. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.